Hey YouTube, Jim here. Welcome to Top 10 Archive. After a plane crash, perhaps the only thing more shocking than the debris and pieces left is the black box recording. It's kind of like 911 calls, except for one tiny detail. These people generally have no hope left. Because of the nature of this video, viewer discretion is advised, and our list is in no specific order of importance, and our hearts go out to those who were impacted by these disasters. Here are 10 last airplane black box recordings. But before we get started, why not become an archivist today by clicking that subscribe button and notification bell so you don't miss out on any future uploads. If you end up enjoying this video, let us know by giving it a thumbs up and in the comments section, tell us which call gave you the biggest chill. Number 10, Western Airlines Flight 2605. This flight, also known as the Night Owl, was going from LA to Mexico City on Halloween 1979. The crash that followed is the third deadliest aviation accident on Mexican soil. It happened just months after another famous plane crash, the American Airlines Flight 191. So after this, trust in this form of transportation was probably quite low. To add, just a month later, Air New Zealand Flight 901 crashed in Antarctica. The black box recording for the crash is so sad that, well, I'll let you hear it for yourself. To think that all of this happened just because there was a confusion about which runway to land on. Of the 88 people on board, 72 were killed in the crash. Number 9. Adam Air Flight 574 This flight was a regular domestic route between Surabaya and Manado in Indonesia. On New Year's Day in 2007, about 100 people died after it crashed. It appears the pilots were having issues troubleshooting the inertial navigation system and unknowingly disconnected the autopilot. Thanks to the black box, we can now listen to those last moments and learn from it. As a result of this crash and due to other flights crashing, Indonesian aviation safety ratings have gone down, and at one point their airlines were banned from Europe altogether. It's no wonder the airline went bankrupt. Number 8, TU-154. It was April 10, 2010, and a Polish Air Force plane was flying above Russia when it crashed near Smolensk killing everyone on board. It was no regular flight either. The president of Poland and his wife were both on board, as was the former president, the chief of the Polish general staff, the president of the National Bank of Poland, 18 members of parliament, senior members of the clergy, relatives of the victims from a recent massacre, and a few military officers and officials. If you needed a recipe for a devastating loss, this one would actually be too much. I mean, just listen. Terrain ahead. Pull up. Pull up. Pull up. That is up, Pull up. Control with the pick and The plane crashed while attempting to land in thick fog. Since there were so many important people on board, several conspiracy theories arose, but nothing has been confirmed. Number 7. Air Florida Flight 90 Any audio that includes the words, we're going down, is bound to break your heart. Especially when down means into a bridge on the Potomac River. This flight was supposed to go from D.C. to Fort Lauderdale, stopping in Tampa. However, on this January day in 1982, they weren't going to get far at all. Just miles from the White House, the plane crashed into the 14th Street Bridge. On the way down, it hit several vehicles, and by the time the crash was done, dozens had died. 
listen as the pilots realized the fate that awaited them. After studies were done, it was determined that the pilots had failed to switch on ice protection systems on the engines. They made some bad decisions, but they certainly didn't deserve to die. Number 6. Delta Airlines Flight 191 Lockheed L-1011-1 TriStar This Delta Airlines flight on August 2, 1985, was scheduled to land in LA after taking off from Fort Lauderdale. However, if they're on this list, it clearly didn't happen. The plane went down over a mile before the runway, hitting a car and two water tanks. In the process, 137 people died and 28 were injured. This, as we've seen with others, was also pilot error, as the crew decided to fly through a thunderstorm and encountered a microburst of rain. Listen to their surprise, as a normal approach to a runway turns deadly. Number 5. United Airlines Flight 93 our first and only hijacking on this list. This plane, unlike the others, did not go down due to pilot error, but instead was forced down by Al-Qaeda terrorists, in which many civilians ended up dying from that day. It was flying on September 11, 2001, from Newark to San Francisco, and was part of the group of flights hijacked. The plane crashed in Pennsylvania and killed all 44 people on board, the flight was interrupted 46 minutes after takeoff, and they turned the plane around back to the East Coast. Later, other instigators of the attack claimed the target was the Capitol building. However, several passengers fought the hijackers, and the struggle led to the plane crashing into a field. A memorial stands near the crash site today. Number 4. Flying Tiger Line Flight 66 On February 19, 1989, this Boeing 747, which was scheduled for an international cargo flight, crashed into the side of a hill some six miles away from its final approach. The plane was 10 years old at the time, and saw 9,000 flight cycles and 34,000 airframe hours, but neither improper maintenance or mechanical failure had anything to do with the plane going down and killing the four crew members. Instead, gross negligence from both the first officer, who claimed he didn't have the approach plate in front of him, and the second officer, who was 70 years old and needed a magnifying glass to read anything, is what doomed this flight from the start. The last words ever recorded from the officers were, So you got the ILS set, right? Yeah. I'm gonna put you on 14-7. That'll give you... Number 3. Delta Airlines Flight 1141 Delta Airlines Flight 1141 was a scheduled domestic passenger flight between Dallas-Fort Worth, Texas and Salt Lake City, Utah that crashed during takeoff on August 31, 1988, killing 14 of the 108 people on board and injuring 76 others. It was only 22 seconds from takeoff to ground impact which was caused by a number of issues, including pilot error and Delta Airlines management not providing proper training. Medical examinations determined that all but one of the 14 fatalities were due to smoke inhalation 
while one passenger had successfully exited the aircraft, but re-entered to assist his wife, who was trapped inside. From his severe burns, he died 11 days later at the hospital. This is the last audio recording from that crash. Number two, Malaysia Airlines MH17. A flight to Kuala Lumpur from Amsterdam was shot down over Ukraine, killing everybody on board on July 17, 2014. After an investigation, it was concluded that the weapon responsible was a pro-Russian separatist sent missile. For this flight, the black box recording is quite normal dropping off after a normal good night malaysian 370 malaysian 370 maintaining level 350 malaysian 370 malaysian 370 contact hachimin 120 decimal 9 good night malaysian 370 but a rather dark recording was released of the conversation that occurred after the rebels shot the plane down and realized they'd made the mistake of killing a lot of civilians. The worst part is when they then blame them for having flown in a war zone. Number one, U.S. Airways Flight 1549. This Airbus A320 took off from New York and in ascension hit a flock of geese near George Washington Bridge this led to its losing its engine power, and the pilots made a decision to ditch the plane in the Hudson River. Here's the audio kept from that day, which describes the events with a conversation between the control tower and the pilots. Cactus 1549, turn left lane 270. Uh, this is uh, Cactus 1539, hit first through Foster, Thrust, returning back towards LaGuardia. Okay, uh, you need to return to LaGuardia. Turn left heading of uh, 220. 220. It's 1529. He, uh, bird strike. He lost all engine. He lost the thrust in the engines. He's returning immediately. Cactus 1529. Which engines? He lost thrust in both engines, he said. Got it. Luckily, this is one of the cases that give us hope. First, because the pilots did exactly what they were supposed to. And second, because as a result of that, everybody lived. It actually went into history as the miracle on the Hudson and the pilots and crew received medals for their heroic achievement and were depicted in the Clint Eastwood-directed movie, Sully, starring Tom Hanks and Aaron Eckhart. Thanks for watching. If you found this video informative and interesting, give it a like. If you haven't already done so, become a subscriber and click the notifications bell so you know when new videos from the channel are uploaded.